Welcome back to Brazen Brits. I am Lawrence and we're here with some friends who have bought an RV site at Wilderness RV Resort in Silver Springs, right? Correct. Anyway, you may have seen, if you've been watching for a while, we actually bought a home base down here in Florida um, and we love that home base, but this was another alternative. So we're gonna chat to these guys and see why they decided to buy an RV site rather than a property. Roll the intro. Like switch it up. It really makes me wonder. <laughs> Okay, so you guys have been here three months? Three weeks. Three weeks? No, oh, you've owned it three months. <laughs> yes, we bought it three, three months ago, yes. Okay, you bought it three months ago, but you've been here for three weeks because, interesting fact, that Michelle is a camp host up in a campsite in Virginia. And if you look back at some of our videos, uh, we had some fun times there. But over the winter, that campsite is closed down, so they're down here in Florida. So, three weeks, your experience good bad it's been excellent great really yes. it's okay really great. so it's the right it's, choice yes. it is definitely um, i was nervous when we drove up i was freaking out a little then we got here and i was super happy well this is interesting because rob told us that you had you bought it unseen you have not been here before three weeks ago right, right. sight unseen bought it off of google maps or bought it from looking at google <laughs> put maps. it on google maps <laughs> buy yeah. buy now add to cart <laughs> a friend <laughs> recommending it um, we did have a friend up for the journey. Um, check it out YouTube and hey, Instagram. Um, they recommended it and Michelle jumped right on it, started looking at it, researching it, and um, we found out that we got a list from the park management of what sites were available. So we just got on Google Maps, looked at it from the aerial view, you know, uh, satellite view, and we're like, we just picked this one, the one that we're at, because we didn't want nobody behind us. That was one big thing. Yep. And we got some trees and everything behind us. And the the sites are just huge for campsites. It is. So, I'm I'm very impressed. Like we turned up and I'm like, wow, this is fancy. Yeah. And, uh, the, and the whole place is fancy, right? We're actually walking along. Like, what's this? Like the River Walk or something? Yeah, There's this a river. Is river access here to the uh, Oklahoma River. Nice. Yeah. So so there is trails here. But so do you mind me saying how much you paid for it? No, go right ahead. So it's 61? 61. 61,000, 61, um, but you have to pay for, wait, the 61,000 includes water, septic, trash. Correct. Uh, we, have a, we have an HOA due, um, a quarterly dues. Okay. So once we pay the quarterly dues, that takes care of all of that. Okay, and um, how much is that? The 61,000 included our concrete pad yep. and a 10 by 14 shed, which is yet to be delivered, so. Okay. Um, but we're still waiting on that. And then the dues take care of all the yard work, the, the pool and the, and the hot tub up at the clubhouse, mm -hmm. um, takes care of the water and the sewer and the trash and, and all that. So. Nice, and how much are the the monthly dues? Um, it comes out to be about 199 a month, um, okay. it's, but we pay it quarterly, so it's like 600 bucks a quarter. That's nice. And so the only other thing on top is you pay for your power? In the power, yeah, and the power is okay. a monthly and thing. And that's on a meter thing, and they yeah. just bill yeah. you for that. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Because you were full-time, you sold your house, you went full-time for three years? Two. Okay, two, two. and you camp post, mm. camp posted over the About summers year, year and a half, for yeah. that. And so, uh, instead of buying this pad, did you look at buying a property like like we were doing? We bought a property with a, where we could park the RV, or did you just say well, we no? We were actually <clears> trying <throat> to buy land up in Ohio. Yeah. Oh, really? So we want to use this as a winter home base, kind of, of a, you know, southerly home base. And then back in Ohio, where we're from, we want to get a piece of land and put up a, a nice barn and um, be able to pull the rig in and into there. But originally we were looking at Ohio and land, nothing, just land, not a house or anything. And then when I saw this, it started getting the wheels turning. I was like, well, somebody will take care of it while we're gone. We don't have to pay somebody. Right. And just, it kind of just worked out. And it, we can rent it out when we're not here mm -hmm. so it can help pay offset the dues. So you're allowed to do that. Um, so you are planning to do that. Yes. But yeah. you, we were saying, we were chatting a minute ago that actually you kind of want to be here in the winter, which is when everyone else Everyone's wants to rent playing. it. So right. do you think you'll be able to find renters in the summer here? So I think we will. Um, and, and like I said earlier when I was talking to you that even if we find just 
rent it maybe once, twice, three times during the summer, and that should take care of, of our dues for the entire okay. year. You know, which makes it worth it then for us too. And so that's interesting. So that means that the so the sixty one you paid for it. Do you think that will ever go down, or do you think that's just going to increase I think like property? It's only going to go up. So basically, you you'll you'll eventually it's an it is an investment the same as a house. It is. So exactly. you will eventually make money off the sixty grand, and then just for the few months that you rent it, will pay your dues for the year, and then so exactly. you'll just at least break even. At, at least, yeah. And you can customize it if you can see some of these behind you here. Um, you can customize it however you want, and as, the more we customize it, the, the increase in value it's going to get. The other interesting fact that I didn't know until you just said, you probably did tell me before, and I forget things, but uh, this is over 55s. Over yes. 55 community. You're not over 55. Correct. You could be, you're definitely not. <laughs> Thank you. Combined, you're over 55. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, how does that work then? Uh, so, we had to gain approval from the uh, the board, the board members of the, uh, basically it's an HOA board members. Mm -hmm. um, and we had to gain approval, but since we didn't bring any kids with us, um, not that pets are a big deal, but we don't have any pets either. Um, I guess we're the, the token younger than 55 crowd because. And we and don't technically, it's not our residence. It's not our res, we're not permanent right. residents here, so. If we want to okay. become a resident, we can. We just have to get approved from the board. So even even when it is over 55s, they will generally make exceptions for, like really? similar to us, like I think we could probably phone yeah, an over 55 absolutely. and say, look, we don't have kids, we're quiet, we're just gonna work, you know, are we right. cool? We'll be we'll be quiet and, and you know, they, they just don't want that disturbance. I think right. to right. avoid any kind of discrimination lawsuits, they're gonna have to allow a certain number of under 55s with the stipulations of like the no kids and, you know, don't be causing a ruckus, things like that. So the only other thing that they do have an HOA, so they 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 cut the grass and things, right? Yep. You're not responsible everything, for that. Okay, yep, that's good. Um, and then for anything else that you want, they do allow sheds and things, but what are the rules on that? Do you just say, hey, you want to put a shed in, is that okay? Or so, No, that was part of our contract. So they, okay. we do, there is a contract that says that we get a certain specifically made shed just for this, this area, and it has to be one of four colors yes so we got a choice of four different colors we could have chose from um, the pavers um, like when we do our patios and things the paver brick yep. um, they got to be of like earthly natural tones you can't have okay. reds and blues and, they, and greens and purples. they will approve our design um, and you submit a design plan to the board members and then they approve it or disapprove it or say hey change this hey change that but um, we submitted our, our phase one plan. Yeah, so you're going through this now. So yours was just a pad, that was it, right? Um, and a your... patio, yep, and a little bit of a walkway. Okay. Um, and they and they approved it within a day. So it was, oh really? It okay. Was so it's easy, easy, and they're pretty lenient. They didn't come exactly. back and say no. This we didn't have shade some... of pink isn't <laughs> right, which I know Rob chose probably for the pavers. <laughs> we didn't have some elaborate thing all drawn up, you know, where it yeah. would take them longer. It was a pretty simple plan. If <laughs> someone here is watching and they're thinking about buying an RV site um, just as like a home base, which a lot of people are doing after COVID, right? We know, we know loads of tons of people who we've spoken to who have done a similar thing to you or us where they've bought a house. Um, do you know any like places they could go and look? Where do you even start looking for something like this? Because you just went direct on this website, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I There is Facebook groups for it. Oh, to really? rent and to buy spaces. And I saw a lot of that. Um, before we got this one too. And that was, I was kind of comparing prices with that mentally a little bit. Um, but that's a great place to start is on Facebook because you can hear it from the actual people. Yeah. And there's a lot of groups. And our site will be on Hip Camp. It's an app for renting campsites okay. and campgrounds yep. and things. Um, so we, once we got on there, we started looking also and comparing prices and everything too. And you think uh, you could probably rent this out for like what eight, nine hundred a month? Is that what you said? Yeah, Something like that, yeah. I think so. Um, I, th I think since our site right now being brand new and it's a blank slate, I think it'll be more in the seven fifty, eight hundred range. Okay. Uh, for the month, um, but once we start putting our patios in and getting our pergolas up and, and all that, then it'll be up around the you know nine hundred range. This walk is amazing, though. Like we are, they you have a proper like forest trail here, right? I just want to point that out. I know we're talking about campgrounds and we are still in the resort right now, right. walking around here. Um, and so so there's a few things. There are restrictions though. This, I found this interesting and I'm very upset and I feel personally attacked because <laughs> they don't allow travel trailers. Not on this section. Not on this section. Okay, there's different sections, Correct. but the section, well not this section, we're in a forest, but on your section, 
What were the rules? Um, it has to be a uh, full body paint fifth wheel or class A motorhome. Full body paint. And originally it was only just class A's. Oh really? Yeah, but they couldn't fill it. They couldn't sell it. So then that's when they opened it up to fifth wheels and then it started selling like hotcakes. Right. Wow. But only the fancy, fancy full body paint fifth right. wheels. None of that vinyl <laughs> stickery <laughs> stuff, right? Um, again, it, it, it's all by case by case spaces. And there are some in here that uh, that are the gel coat with the decals. Right. Um, but they look really nice too. Some of these newer yeah. ones coming out. Um, I, I guess if it looks really good and it's a so it is newer, a total aesthetics thing just it to is. Yeah, okay it is. and that that is the same the anyone renting your site is the same rule as well I see. correct it okay. is but we can uh, seek approval from the board to say hey we okay. you know this guy's got a fifth wheel but it's not full body paint can we have a, a, an exception for a month or two yeah. and that's uh, this is my last question I promise um, that uh, they if you're renting it out you ha it's by month did you say the minimum time is by month it's either or? a week or monthly so it's not Sorry, I thought there was a huge spider there it wasn't it was a leaf <laughs> hanging in a spider web I thought it was a tarantula <laughs> sorry I, I interrupted you panicking. so it could be a week or it could be a month it can't be daily okay but you can do weekly yes because you're more likely to get someone to yeah. in, especially in the summer someone's going to rent this for a week right. rather than a month yeah so. and we're our thinking too is we're so close to like Orlando and things like that that mm -hmm. that will help us yeah right. Yeah, and you're, you have a car lab right down the road, what, 10 minutes away? Yeah. yeah. And Silver Springs is an amazing place. Natalie's done some kayaking videos, so you should go and check that out as well. So there's a lot to do around here for touristy stuff. If you're new here, we met up with these guys uh, back in, when was it, two years ago. It was right at the end of COVID, at the end of the first lockdown, and so we met up with these guys, and uh, we drank way too much. <laughs> and so if you're new here you probably haven't seen that so i will link to it or i'll throw it in the description because uh, it was a horrible weekend i'm sorry to say <laughs> both of them were yeah well but then we came back from it yeah that's true then we came back and i got robbed back for getting me too drunk so uh yeah so we'll <laughs> go check out those videos this is the first time we've walked through a forest not hung over <laughs> so rob and michelle were just saying that there's actually three different sections here and they each have their own like hoas uh, which and they who that's who dictates whether you have to have the body paint and what what types of rigs you can have so it's almost like three separate completely separate campgrounds communities, yeah, or communities exactly. yeah yeah okay that's interesting because we just walked some there and they were what do you say they they were called so that's the town center section yep and then the one up front by the front gate is called the villages okay or the village yeah and then this is the preserves Okay, and but the, what were the rigs called that they that They're aren't allowed here? They're technically mobile homes. They're so park models or mobile park homes. models. That's yeah, um, that's destination one. models. I guess you can call them. Okay, but here in your section, it's the rules that you mentioned earlier. Correct. Yeah, the, the full body paint and uh, you got to be fancy here. Yeah, exactly. We're not allowed here. <laughs> All right, Michelle is taking us on a tour to see the pool and the hot tub, and this is actually the pool house right here. Uh, very nice. Oh, secret code. Cut. Cut. Look at this some leaves in here I expect more nice so you guys use this quite often yeah we're usually not the only ones here too really yeah there's never anyone here no the hot tub's usually 105 the pool's been a little cold but this week I'm sure it'll warm up very nice so this is two up from your rig and this one is for sale as you can see here this one is 71 but it has the shed there's nothing behind right that's just a creek is it so there's just a creek down there. You have your power and everything. So this is an idea of what you can get for 71,000. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> if we were rich enough to not have a travel trailer <laughs> and we need full body paint. So we have a, a pool and a hot tub uh, in, a, in a social clubhouse, I guess it is. Nice. And they do things like uh, happy hour Wednesday or hump day happy hours is what they call it on Wednesdays. Um, they do different things um, and that's all included in our dues that's cool and you said they have a bathhouse and we noticed on the way in there is a restaurant on site yes yep and a was it a grocery store no um, it's a little like a little candy store, store kind of okay thing. all right so it's not like and they have the i guess world famous whoopie pies okay i've actually not had one yet so we might need to try that we might need to try that okay well thank you guys um for showing us around uh let's get back to the campsite i'm a little bit worried that you've led us out here into the middle of the forest um but uh we hope you found this interesting yeah we <laughs> we found uh it all fascinating when these guys were going through this so we've been talking about this for a while so we hope you enjoyed this not our normal content 
Um, but yeah, hopefully it's very interesting. And I know a lot of people have been looking at doing the same thing. So um, very cool. So, all right, thank you for watching. We will see you next week.